I'm sure you've heard about the Queen's Gambit series and it's a series about a girl who plays chess in the 60s and it has some beautiful outfits I want to recreate. And one of them is a really nice mustard skirt that the, the pity is that she only wears it once and you can't really see it much but well um, it's a nail line skirt with uh, some pleats in the front i guess in the back as well i don't remember <laughs> but i'm going to make them in the back as well and i'm going to use this beautiful fabric if you're ever in the canary islands there's a beautiful shop in la laguna in tenerife and the girl is marvelous. I went over there and told her what I wanted to do and she showed me some fabrics but they were really thin, uh, cotton made. And then she told me, oh, but in the back I have some remnants with that color that might suit you. And I thought, oh my God, remnants, um, the color I want. And she did, she had them really nice. And I ended up buying a sack of fabric. And I was really sore from carrying the next day. But anyways, anyways, it doesn't matter. Exciting projects coming along. It's a beautiful crepe. It has a really nice feel to it. And I think it's going to look amazing. We'll need two rectangles with the width and length with measure. Mark in the center, we can measure the waist and trace two diagonals to get our pattern. Cut two of these. Pin the pleats in place and sew the two panels on one side. We'll attach the waistband right sides together. We'll sew our zipper on the side that's open, finish that seam and hem it. And the challenge of the project is that I'm going to use the invisible zipper foot. Let's see how that goes. And the first thing we're going to do is to measure ourselves. We're going to measure the waist contour and the uh, length of the skirt. And to measure the length easily, what we're going to do is to put the, the zero downwards. So that way, you're going to measure on your waist and it's really easy. My waist right now is 79 centimeters, which is 31.1 inches. And the length I'm going to give it is 70 centimeters, 27.5 inches. Of course, you have to give it more length because uh, we have to hem it. And if I'm not mistaken, that will be by hand, I think. To make the pattern, I'm going to need half the measurement of my waist plus 10 centimeters on each side or 3.9 inches uh, to make the pleats, the two, plot, the, the two pleats that go on front and on the back as well. And then on the bottom, I'm going to add 35 centimeters or 14 inches so it has a nice flow. And on top of that, we'll need some seam allowance. So take that into account. And then the waistband is going to be a simple rectangle. And I'm going to make it not too wide, but I will need uh, double that. So I'm going to make a rectangle so then I can fold it and sew it on top. This I'm not going to make twice, like uh, two bits. I'm going to make just one that goes from side to the same side, from left to left, around my whole uh, waist. So I will need my whole measurement. And I wanted to make it like that because I want my zip to go on the left. I know you can make it on the back, but I think it looks much neater on, on your left because that way the waistband goes all the way around and I, I think it looks nicer. So let's do that. Thank you. 
So here I have the two panels, front and back, but they are square. Why are they square? Because I haven't uh, cut the waist bit. So I have the length and this is the grain. I left the side, the, the factory cut, so I knew. And then the bottom bit has already its own measurement. But how are we going to do the top so it's centered with the bottom, so it's not twisted? I think the best way is to fold it again. And then here I'm going to calculate a quarter of my waist. For each panel I need half the measurement of my waist and 10 centimeters more or 3.1 inches for the pleats. After adding the seam allowance, I'm going to, to end up with a measurement, an X measurement. And that I'm going to divide by two, so I have a quarter. For me, that measurement is 31 centimeters. So it is uh, 12 inches. And from that, from this measurement, because it's centered, I'm going to uh, draw a line, a diagonal, to the bottom edges. And this will be my pattern. Now the problem is, how am I going to measure where the pleat goes? And uh, I think it's not difficult because we're going to fold again and mark half the panel, half each panel. And then uh, we're going to uh, get rid of the seam allowance and, uh, measurement and then mark again halfway between the seam allowance and the center of our panel. And that is the measurement where the pleat is going and we have to take into account that from there we are going to discount five centimeters on each side that goes in. So that's where the pleat goes. So as you can see, these are my pleats and just try it a bit, put it on top of you so you can have a look and it looks nice, it looks okay and we have our seam allowance here and all that. So I'm going to uh, give it a stitch on top so they don't move and they don't lose the shape. And then I'm going to zigzag all the top as well and sew the front and back panel but only on the right side because the left side is the one that has the zipper on so I'm going to lift that and I'm going to do it all at once. It's going quite well, I think, and I'm really happy with the fabric. I think the quality is extremely good and uh, really easy to sew. And I zigzag stitched everything all around it because I want it to be really nice and to last for a thousand years. So that's that. And now I'm going to cut the waistband because I didn't before and I'm going to uh, make it the whole length of my waist uh, plus the extra seam allowance cent uh, centimeters or inches and if I want my waistband to be for example uh, 2 inches wide or 5 centimeters I'm going to double it so I can fold it then. So I have my skirt here, this is the wrong side as you can see because you can see the seam, the, the right seam here and I have my waistband and I want to sew it together. So 
to center it what I'm going to do which is the easiest thing ever because if you start uh, if you start attaching the pins on one side you'll be short on the other because you have seam allowance and what I'm going to do is to center the right seam and that way I, ca I measured half this so that way it is centered and it won't move and you won't have any mistakes and I'm going to sew this opened before doing it I thought it was too long and now it is perfectly fine because the pleats open a little so you have to be really careful And now that my waistband is in place, I'm going to sew the zip. I've been talking about an invisible zipper and it's not, it's a normal zipper, but the, the thing, this is a bit nicer than a normal zipper, so I think that's why I thought it was an invisible one, but it isn't. I'll be using one of my new feet anyway, because uh, before I only had uh, one of the zipper foots that goes on one side, so when I went on to sew the next side, it was a mess, it, I couldn't manage it. And now I have the double one, so let's see how that works. That was amazing, incredible. If you don't have one of these, uh, please uh, leave everything now and go out to a haberdashery and buy one because it's just amazing. I'm so glad I have one. I even enjoyed doing it. These kind of skirts are always sewn by, or usually sewn by hand, hemmed by hand, but uh, because I've already zigzag stitched all the, the bottom, I'm going to try and do it by machine. It will only be not a double hem, but a single one. Just fold and stitch along it. And I have my machine on the longer stitch and a bit loose, so it's not mm, uh, stiff. So I'm going to try that and see how it does. And if I like it, I'll leave it like that. I'm in love with it. It looks really good. So, that finishes the project. I'm quite happy with it. The fabric was a dream to sew with, I didn't have any problems at all and I'm quite happy with my new zipper foot. It's just, it was, uh, as we say in Spanish, uh, sewing and singing. But I'm a bit disappointed with myself. 
because last night when I was about to hem it I thought oh let's have a look at the chapter again where she was wearing that to see the length of the skirt just to be sure and I realized that it might not have been an island skirt but a full circle skirt it was really flowy and mm, I was really disappointed I had enough fabric to do it in that way but I just had a look at the pictures I had and not watch the chapter again which I should have done so next time I'm going to be more careful about that and uh, watch everything again because uh, when you see something in movement it's much different than seeing a picture so that's that but anyways I'm quite happy with it and uh, I hope you've enjoyed it let me know down in the comments if you like the series if you've watched it if you uh, want to recreate any of the looks and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything next week bye